Hey guys, welcome back, and if you're new to this channel, my name's Stuart, thanks for joining me today. In this step-by-step -step tutorial, I'm gonna walk you through how to set up Google Analytics, and then install Google Analytics on your website. Now, today I'm gonna show you how you can easily install Google Analytics on WordPress, Wix, Squarespace, and Shopify, which is some of the more popular website builders on the market today. Now, just quickly, and before we dive into Google Analytics, if you're new to this channel, consider subscribing to stay updated with weekly actionable videos and tutorials designed to help your small business thrive online. And with that covered, let's set up your Google Analytics account and connect this with your website. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is set up our Google Analytics account. So to do that, all we need to do is head over to analytics.google.com. And then once we've set up our Google Analytics account, all we need to do is install the code onto our website. Now this is a very straightforward process and we're going to walk you through each step. So let's go ahead and set up our Google Analytics account. Head over to set up for free navigate over to account name and here you just want to put in your business name then down here you want to make sure that all of these are ticked and then come down and select next now here we need to select what we want to measure now because we're setting up google analytics and then installing it on our website we want to measure our website traffic and everything happening on our website so we're going to keep that one selected and then come down here and select next then here you just want to enter your website name and then come down here and enter your website URL. Then just select the category that you're in. So for us, we're gonna select business and industrial markets. Then once you've selected your category that your business is in, that your website operates in, then come down here and select your reporting time zone. For us, we're gonna select New Zealand and then come down here and click create. Then up here, you just need to select your country then come down here and select I accept the terms and service agreement for my country and then navigate down to the bottom and select accept again and then click I accept. And congratulations, you have just completed the initial setup of your Google Analytics account. Now what we're gonna do is show you how to install this code onto your website. Now the first website builder we're gonna use is Wix and we're gonna show you how to quickly install Google Analytics onto your Wix website. So to do that, all you need to do is head over to your Wix dashboard, then navigate down to settings and scroll all the way down to tracking and analytics. Then here you wanna select Google Analytics. Now all we need to do is head back to Google Analytics and copy this Google Analytics tracking ID. So I'm gonna do that now and then just simply copy this tracking code up here under tracking ID and head back over to Wix and then just paste your tracking ID in here and then all you need to do is click apply and it's as simple as that to connect your Google Analytics with your Wix website. Now the second website builder that we're going to show you how to connect your Google Analytics to is called Squarespace. Now all you need to do is head to your Squarespace dashboard and select the website that you want to connect your Google Analytics to. And then head over to settings, then navigate down to advanced, and then click on external API keys. And just like Wix, all we need to do is copy the tracking ID number. So if we head back to Google Analytics, and just copy this tracking ID here and then head back over to Squarespace. And all we need to do here is paste the tracking ID in here and then just click save. Now the third website builder we're gonna to cover today to show you how to connect your Google Analytics to is called Shopify. Now to connect your Google Analytics and your Shopify store together, all you need to do is head to your Shopify dashboard, then navigate to your online store and then come down to preferences. Under preferences, you just wanna scroll down till you find Google Analytics. And then over here, all we need to do is paste our tracking ID from Google Analytics. So to do that, head back to Google Analytics and copy your tracking ID up here as we've done before, and then head back to Shopify. Then all we need to do is paste in that tracking ID that we retrieved from Google Analytics, and then come down below and click save. And now your Google Analytics and your Shopify store will now be connected. 
Now, the final website builder that we're going to show you how to connect your Google Analytics to is called WordPress. Now, the majority of websites on the internet are powered by WordPress, so this is extremely important. Now, what we've actually done is created a separate beginner's tutorial, which guides you through how to connect your Google Analytics to your WordPress website. So what I'll do is I'll link that beginner's tutorial up above. Now there are actually many ways that you can install Google Analytics on your WordPress site. The key plugins we tend to use are Yoast SEO and Google's SiteKit. Both of these plugins are extremely easy to use and they both guide you through the process of installing your Google Analytics code onto your WordPress website. So if you have a WordPress website, make sure you click the link above and that's going to take you to a step-by-step -step tutorial to install your Google Analytics on your WordPress website. And that is all there is to it. So we've just showed you how to install Google Analytics on Wix, Squarespace, Shopify and WordPress. And there we have it guys, that is it for today's tutorial. You should now be able to set up your Google Analytics account and install Google Analytics on your website. Now, if you have any questions about this process, make sure to leave them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this video through to the end. If you got value from this video, you enjoyed it, then please leave a like below the video. And if you haven't done so already, make sure to subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Take care guys.